this is Das Box Mom and Lost in Blue and welcome back to the long game of King of Dragon Pass. We are just about to have one more tr try or at least try again this year on Geralda's Blessing. This is the only hero quest other than making of the Storm Tribe which we have not yet done since forming a tribe. So, wish us luck. Try for a magic cow. Okay. Find a high place and watch the two legs when they leave. Suffer the attack. Suffer the attack. Suffer the attack and we got lost. Give up. Because we're going to restore. We could always try to gain a herd of cows. Sure, why not? Maybe our chance of success depends on what benefit we're seeking to some extent, too. Okay, let's try gaining a herd of cows. Find a high place, watch the two legs on the leaf. Suffer the attack, suffer the attack. Except for the attack, and we found the two leg. Alright, make the secret sign to Ronaldo from the cave. Ghana says she has a plan. Ignore the bulls. And the bulls won't follow. Two legs will think they rule us, but we'll secretly rule them. And that works. A little lost blood is nothing when there's life to be given. Come on. And that actually worked. With our help, the two legs will cover the world. And wherever they go, they'll be cows, fat and happy cows. Now, trust your goddess and go out and be cows again. Shut up, children. And they did. And Ghana returns to the land of mortals and quest a successful one despite her wounds. Over the next few days, people from all over Dragon Pass brought us cows, thanking us for having performed the blessings of our old hero quest and bringing health and fertility to everyone's herds. But there's still not enough pasture land. Okay. Roland for the Sari's judged us as in promise and found us worthy because we have more cows than we did a year ago. The god talkers of those two deities are now closer to their gods. That sounds like we do need to enlarge our pastures. These cows are overcrowded and malnourished. Okay. Well, let's save the results of the hero quest. And then I guess one of the things we'll be doing in sea season is enlarging our pastures. God talkers indicate say that omens indicate a typical harvest, but our wheat crop will wither before it can be harvested. So we're going to have to tweak what we grow this year, too. And this year will be a good year for doing Making of the Storm Tribe. And of course, we'll want to retweak the ratio of what grains we grow next year so that it's back to the normal distribution. Okay, so let's go to the farming screen. cleared land. We need at least 37 hides of pasture. Plant barley or rye. 
our amount of cropland. And then we'll increase our amount of pasture. Clans of your tribe bring a dispute before the king for adjudication in hopes of avoiding an expensive case before a full tribal moot. Rastaran chief of the Nari clan accuses the Lonisi chief, Karendra, of stealing weapon things away from his clan. He recently recruited five worthy man troll fighters from the holy country to join his clan, giving them many fine gifts. But after a feast held by Karendra, they deserted the Nari for the Lonisi. Rastaran demands compensation equal to twice the value of the gifts he gave to the weapon things. Yeah, our cow lady doesn't really have an opinion. Uh, let's do a divination. Spirits of our ancestors said that Karendra had wrongly induced the weapon things to leave the Nari clan. Rastaran denied his rival's claim that his weapon fans had given. But Itagarn found his denials simply served to both. But the divination said that she had wrongly induced them. Rastaran praised the clear sight and honesty of our king, thanked us by giving us, gifting us with half the penalty levied against Gorendra. Okay. more trading partners, we could support more crafters. We have enough farmers. Okay, but our trader thinks we need to Establish more trade routes. Maybe we can start trading for food now. We'll trade goods and cows. We'll sell trade goods and cows and buy food. Flatfoot ducks. Okay, so we'll and we're being raided by the horse spawn. And against mounted troops, you usually want to skirmish. And actually, I don't mind never closing with the horse spawn. Now it's fire season. We need more weapon things. Let's 
traded seven cattle for 40 bushels of food. Two clans of your tribe bring a dispute before the king for adjudication in hopes of avoiding an expensive case before a full moot. And Eric of the Lonisi accuses Derek of the Nari of unfair trade practices. She says that while Derek was negotiating the purchase of a large number of horses from the Lonisi, he left a magical listening wind in the Lonisi clan hall. It allowed him to hear the Lonisi traders confer with one another and name their minimum price. And Naren wants Derek to return one in five of the horses as a penalty for unfair dealing. Oh, if this were about cows instead of horses, it'd be different. Spirit of our ancestors said that Derek had not used his listening wind against Anaren. Derek thanked us for our wisdom, and Aaron said nothing but was clearly angry. Okay. Well, fire scenes usually the time to raid. We did do a, a regular raid last year, so we can probably manage this to cattle raid this time. Maybe the Bacati. Not the Genesne because they're still paying us tribute. And we got 12,029 sheep. Our Martha have a new chief, Leica, known for her love of good ale. Their former chief, Janstan, stepped aside after all Marth weapon thanes refused to help with the harvest. And now. It's the season. Okay, our cattle raid was a success, so we'll save. And Lost in Blue has left the room, so we'll have to manage the best we can without her. goods and buy food. Maybe the slap foot ducks again. We could also sell cows and buy food. So we'll sell some cows and some trade goods and we'll buy food from the slap foot ducks. Derek, whose family was slain by sable riders, is now a man. He is a promising warrior to say the least, but the older weapon thanes call him Derek Singlepath because he's headstrong and follows his own way. He talks only of vengeance on the Praxians. He fights half-heartedly against other foes. He's rude to his elders and prone to disappearing for long periods of time. He's an asset to the clan, says Saratar, but a troublesome one. Okay, so... Maybe we should send Derek on a raid against Sable Riders. But it is Earth, Earth season. Then it was Friday. The next thing you know, young Rolathi will become rebellious and violent. Brothers cow. Okay, and they brought their cows back. Now we need to recruit more weapon things. Okay. Now we've got 
40 bush. Derek is back triumphant. He led our warriors to a sable rider encampment where he slew many and pillaged their goods. None of our warriors were so much as scratched in the fight. Okay. Might need an emergency livestock slaughter or food from another clan. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, we do have a pretty big clan. Our pigs are way down. from the Erneldori clan come to request the right to adopt Bobala, the young child of Carl's Vanartha and Robasart. A document written during the first age says that a great hero of the knowing God will be born one day in Dragon Pass and that she'll have a mark upon her forehead like so. This babe has the same mark upon its forehead. We ask that you allow us to raise the child as we are uniquely qualified to initiate her into the secrets of Lancor B. Okay, and our clan leader suggests one, two, or three. She she should be she could be one of those kids that have been born recently that are bound to have a great destiny. Of course we miss gravity. Maybe in exchange for a gift of magic? They said they'd be happy to give us magic in return for the baby. Okay, so who can we sacrifice to? Maybe Vinga. Feared women ritual. A woman whose insignia corresponds to no local clan comes to you with a proposal. I am Sarasper of Bright Eyes, and it's been prophesied that I will unite the clans and make this the land called Saraska. I'll be Queen of the Kings, the peaceful hero, the great uniter. I know your people helped make a tribe when there were only clans, so I now seek your aid in making a kingdom where there are only tribes. She concludes with an impromptu ritual asking the gods to favor us in her plan. I'd like to believe this is the woman that old odd prophet. Oh, the god talker said the omens surrounding the Sarasca bright eyes were all bad. She did not have the favor of the gods. The prophecy she speaks of referred to someone who's not yet born. They couldn't say if her luck would rub off on those who helped her or opposed her. He said it, we would see the truth of her words soon enough. And it's now storm season. I think we'll go exploring. Let's see, maybe perhaps up here. And we'll 
Bell saying, Mr. Pink Cat. Dang Mar. I think we'll send him up here to the north. Wilms and the Moldy Noble appears before you with others of his clan. Speaking for the Nivolding clan ring, Wilms asks your support in their bid to join your tribe. He bears gifts for you. Our clan has admired your tribe for some time since we see that your clans are doing well. We'd like to join your tribe and share in your good fortune, Wilms continues. For our part, we bring special knowledge that no other clan has, which can aid the tribe in war or trade. So, require them to give magical support to tribal ceremonies every year. Require them to give five cows per year for each clan in the tribe. One of the acrobats and jesters said they might be of some use. That offer a treasure to a potential sponsor. Yeah. They agree to this condition without any judgment. How much wealth do you tell the Nivoldings to give to each clan? Oh. Perhaps they're a lawkeeper. The Moldings declared us their champions and toasted us at the feast of Valdemut. The other clans were captivated by appraising the Moldings and could see the advantages of letting them in the tribe. They were pleased that the Moldings clan had agreed to make a contribution to the tribe's welfare. Okay, so we'll save, and then we'll have a go at making of the Storm Tribe. Yeah, the Saraskra bright eyes. You generally do not want to back her up because you're supposed to have one of your own people. Okay, improve the mood of the tribe. Oh, can we become kingmakers? That would be so cool. Okay, so let's catch the downing wheel in a net. Fight both of them. That worked. Uh, recite a poem to the cube. A poem no one's heard before. Didn't work. Uh, tell the knowing god to launch a legal claim. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Challenge you to a oh if you had if we had a tribe you can punish him without hurting him. Wait for an old to bring the tribal regalia. Direct the others to fight the storm tribe. Oh, uh, that didn't work. Okay, so we'll restore. We got so close. Okay, we'll, we'll try this again off camera and we'll come back in the next episode after we've completed it. So we'll see you then.